Hello everyone. Once again, I would like to welcome all of you into the class of chemistry. Friends, in last four to five lectures, we are going to see a syllabic topic, and the first topic is nothing but chemical bonding and catalysis. In last four to five lectures, we are going to complete our first bit or first type in chapter number one, and this type is nothing but chemical bonding. Now, from this lecture, we are going to start the second and very important concept, which will be uh, take much more uh, importance in chemistry subjects, and that concept is nothing but catalyst. Friends, we know that when we are going to study the chemistry subject, we are going to uh, run, we are going to perform a chemical reactions in laboratory. Sometimes this chemical reaction take more time. At that time, we have to uh, lack of time during the practical sessions. So that uh, if we think that if we want to increase the rate of chemical reaction, then what we will going to do? Yes, this is a question, but this question is already solved by one of the best scientists. And how this problem will be going to solve? How the catalyst, how the chemical reactions will be run very fast or most of the time this substance will be used. So in this lesson, we are going to see the study of concept catalyst. So before going to start this topic, just I am going to take why this concept catalyst is important for us manje marathi madhe jar apan yala bagaycha mhatla tar apan utprerak ye ase ya concept la ya sankalpane la mhatla mitranu ja vyas apan prayogshale madhe rasayanik abhikriyancha abhyas karto te abhikriya apan karun pahato te vyas kahi rasayanik abhikriya asha astat ki ja rasayanik abhikriya karat astana aplyala वे जास्त अपना जो प्रैक्टिकल फाइनल प्रोडक्ट है तो अपने वे जन स्मॉल स्केल ऐसी लार्ज स्केल मध्य ज्यादा केमिकल इंडस्ट्री मध्य अशा प्रकार के प्रोडक्ट अपन तैयार करो लगना जो वे है तो वे कमी पाजे मिलना जो प्रोडक्ट है तो प्रोडक्ट जास्त पाजे अपने केमिस्ट्री मध्य एक महत्व की कन्सेप्टिस्ट मराठी मध्य उत्प्रेरक गोष्ट Another one reaction. A 
plus B gives E. A plus B is gives E. Here again A and B are nothing but these are the reactant and E is nothing but this one is product. But if I am going to add D in this reactant means A plus B in presence of D I give this product and this reaction will take place within 7 minutes means in this reaction what happened in second reaction I am going to use D as an catalyst it will be mixed in to the chemical reaction containing reactant and when it is mixed up at that time I will do the product E but the time span between the formation of reactant from reactant to product is very less this is about 7 minutes but in case of first reaction the time span is large means it is 10 minutes with that we can know manjets ka tar ekadar asani abikre madhe apan catalyst kima utpre rakancha wapar kele nantar tya abikre cha beg jo asto to wadto manjets ka hai reactant pasun product milna cha jo kalavadi ahe to kalavadi kami hoto kalavadi kami hoto manjet red wadto if the time less then the rate is greater javes vel kami lagto tyavels reaction cha jo rate ahe to jast ase rate is nothing but this work is a process video reactant will be converted into product so in this discussion we will going to understand that why the catalyst will be used in chemical reaction at that time the conversion of reactant to product will be very fast again question is arising in my mind and your mind also if by using this D in this reaction is any change in this product? no the answer is no when you mix the D react catalyst A and B when you mix the D product का ही चेंज होना नहीं। तब तक तक तब तक मास अनि कंपोजिशन यम एंड सी विल नेवर चेंज एंड दैट्स व्हाई वे आर गोइंग टू यूज दिस कैटलिस्ट इन मोस्ट ऑफ द केमिकल रिएक्शंस। सो दैट बाय यूजिंग दिस नॉलेज वी विल गोइंग टू जस्ट रीअरेंज आवर वर्ड्स एंड डिफाइन द वर्ड कैटलिस्ट। अब ले लाता is nothing but it is one of the chemical or it is one of the substance. This is usually in chemical reaction and function and its application is to minimize the time of reaction. Mala teen gosti mahi te, pahili gosta ahe, catalyst is nothing but it is an substance. Dusri gosta ahe, ha substance usually in chemical reaction and third one is nothing but while this substance is usually in chemical reaction at that time the time will goes on decreasing for the formation of product and at the end of chemical reaction no change in composition and mass by using these four points, I am going to just rearrange the words and make the definition of the word catalyst. Catalyst is nothing but it is an one of the most very important substance which is used in chemical reaction. And when it is used in chemical reaction, at that time 
it can be alters noun this word will be new to you alters manje kay to increase or decrease jales chemical reaction madhe apan ha catalyst use karto e tya vele chemical reaction cha वेग जो आहे तो अल्टर होतो म्हणजे इन्क्रीज होतो किंवा डिक्रीज होतो अँड ड्यू टू दॅट रिझन द टाइम स्पॅन ऑफ दॅट केमिकल रिॲक्शन विल बी गोज ऑन डिक्रीजिंग ॲट द सेम टाइम रेट ऑफ रिॲक्शन गोज ऑन इन्क्रीजिंग बट ॲट द एंड ऑफ दिस केमिकल रिॲक्शन देअर इज नो चेंज इन मास अँड कॉम्पोजिशन ऑफ रिॲक्टंट so using this definition uh, this knowledge we will again rearrange the definition catalyst is nothing but it is one of the chemical substance which will be used in chemical reactions and when it is used at that time it can alters the rate of chemical reactions but due to this use there is no change in mass and composition of reactant this is nothing but the definition of the word catalyst mag asha prakar cha concept cha sankalpane cha shodh kon lavla ase hi gosht aplya manamadhe ahe so this come is first point by scientist berzelius what is the name of scientist jacob Berzelius Zelius The term catalyst is coined by scientist Jacob Berzelius in 1836 Rasayanik abhikriyancha abhyas karat astana tya rasayanik abhikriyancha veg vadavnyasathi ekada padartha upoy upyogi yau shakto yacha abhyas 1836 साली जेकॉब बर्जिलियस या साइंटिस्ट ने या शास्त्रज्ञाने केला आणि त्याला कॅटालिस्ट या कॉन्सेप्टचा शोध लावला आणि या कॉन्सेप्टचा शोध लावल्यानंतर त्याला एक लक्षात आलं की ज्यावेळी एखाद्या केमिकल रिएक्शन मध्ये कॅटालिस्ट वापरला जात नाही त्यावेळेस त्याला लागणारा टाइम जो आहे तो जास्त आहे आणि एखाद्या केमिकल रिएक्शन मध्ये आपण जर कॅटालिस्ट हा सबस्टन्स वापरला तर लागणारा टाइम जो आहे तो लेस आहे आणि याच मॉडेलचे बळावरतीने कॅटालिस्ट या कॉन्सेप्टचा शोध लावतो अशा पद्धतीने तुम्हाला परीक्षेमध्ये जर प्रश्न विचारला गेला तर प्रश्न विचारला जाऊ शकतो अशा प्रकारे दि टर्म कॅटालिस्ट वॉज फर्स्ट पॉइंट बाय सायंटिस्ट डॅश आणि मग तुम्हाला इथं नावं येतील खाली ऑप्शन असतील जेकॉब बर्जिलियस मार्टिन लुथर की वाट टेवर दी कुणी असेल कुणाचंही नाव असेल हॅरडे असेल पण आपल्याला उत्तर माहित आहे जेकॉब बर्जिलियस नावाच्या सायंटिस्टने आपल्याला कॅटालिस्ट नावाची कन्सेप्ट दिलेली आणि हा शोध केव्हा लागला तर अठराशे छत्तीस साली सो इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल गोईंग टू जस्ट take the overview of concept catalyst and again revise in chemical reaction the concept or term catalyst will be used catalyst is nothing but it is one of the substance why it is used in chemical reaction at that time it can increase the rate of chemical reaction but due to use of this substance in chemical reaction it cannot be changes the mass and composition of the chemical reactions and by using these catalysts into the small scale as well as large scale in industry side and due to that reason production will be take up due to that reason these concept will be take much more importance in chemistry so this is all about the overview definition again i am going to revise this is a substance which will be used in chemical reaction but this can be alter the rate of chemical reactions and at the end of that chemical reaction it cannot be changes the rate of chemical reactions this is all about the definition of catalyst
मित्रांनो आजच्या लेक्चरमध्ये आपण इथंच थांबूयात आणि यापुढच्या लेक्चरमध्ये बघूयात याच कॅटॅलिस्टचं म्हणजे क्लासिफिकेशन विभाजन कशा प्रकारे झालेले याचे कोणते प्रकार असतात इथं आपण एक शब्द बघितलेला आहे अल्टर्स अल्टर्स म्हणजे डिक्रीज करणे आणि इन्क्रीज करणे मग काही कॅटॅलिस्ट असे असतात की जे रिॲक्शनचा वेग वाढवतात आणि काही कॅटॅलिस्ट असे असतात की रेट ऑफ रिॲक्शन कमी करतात मग याच गोष्टींचा अभ्यास करण्यासाठी आपल्याला पुढचा सिलॅबसचा महत्त्वाचा पॉईंट आहे तो म्हणजे टाईप्स ऑफ कॅटॅलिस्ट तो आपण पुढच्या लेक्चरला बघू आजच्या लेक्चरमध्ये तुम्ही शेवटपर्यंत हे लेक्चर ऐकलं कॅटॅलिस्ट ही त्यावर समजून घेतली त्याबद्दल तुमच्या सर्वांना माझ्याकडून थँक्यू थँक्यू वेरी मच